you visit, say, a third grade classroom, you meet all sorts of people who are interested in, in herpetology. Why isn't everybody interested in snakes? Why does some outgrow it? There, there, there lies the mystery. Why is herpetology important? Well, what we like to, to emphasize is the importance of the biodiversity and um, of, of course amphibians and reptiles are bioindicators and, and so on, and even if you're not interested in them just for themselves, they're, they're biologically hugely important to the ecosystem. When I was a, a postdoc in 2005, 2006, um, and went to the Congo to make expeditions in search of reptiles in the northern forests, one of the things that I was encouraged to do, uh, I'm so glad I did, was to bring Congolese students with me. Uh, they're like, like our students here, you know, wanting research experience. And those experiences are rare and hard for them to get. The university, there they, they don't have a, a herpetologist. And so these students that I would take in the field would then say, well, I'd really like to do my master's or my PhD on, on this stuff. And they would say, well, you can't do that because there's nobody qualified to supervise it. So the compromise arrived at was that they have a different supervisor who's, say, an ecologist. And then um, I'm a sort of external supervisor to make sure that the herpetology is sound. And then between us, you were able to do that. These are places that we go where you could study leopards if you wanted to, but you'd be spending your time just walking around looking for footprints and droppings to pick through. With the amphibians and reptiles, you, you can find things that are, are, are really quite new and have never been, been studied, and you may find only a snake a day, but it'll be a different snake every day. When uh, I and the graduate students I've been working with started doing herpetological surveys in the Congo, very little had been done. All there was was, you know, an occasional report of, of one, one specimen. And the way Ange describes that, un blanc qui a passé et qui a ramassé un serpent. Some white guy went by and picked up a snake. You know, it's not like they stayed there and they studied the place. Ange Zassiboulou is a doctoral student at the Université Marion Nguabi in Brazzaville, uh, almost finished his PhD thesis, and in fact would be finished. But the other thing that's happened is he's been very, very much in demand in the Congo as a herpetologist. So there's been a lot of consultant work for the extractive industries, mining companies, oil industry. Ange is also very much in demand for identifying snakes often in emergency situations. He has been able to get so much employment um, that he's been able to buy a little bit of land and a house for his family and you know, so that's really good. He's really done, done well with that. Has not given him a lot of motivation to get his thesis finished and written up. However, there's a real need. They're all very excited for Ange to finish because when Ange completes his thesis, then the Congo and the Université Marie Nguabi will have their own herpetologist.